I should question the member from Ottawa Centre. The question is for the Minister of Education. Minister, yesterday I was pleased to see Bill 242 introduced in the Legislature as Ontario moves towards implementing full-day learning for four- and five-year-olds. It is clear that enhancing the earliest years of a child's education will pay dividends far into the future. In our competitive global economy, we need to prepare the most educated and skilled workers that we can, and full-day learning will begin to prepare our youngest pupils for the challenges ahead. The extended day portion of the proposed act is also good for working parents who want to know what their children will be well looked after and have quality educational programming. Minister, as a major undertaking in our education system, can you tell us how this program will be implemented across Ontario and when we will see our, first, our four and five year olds in a full day program? Uh, thank you very much, Speaker. And we are very, very proud as a government to make this commitment to four and five year old students in the province of Ontario. As has been identified, that when we provide full day learning, it does enable students to be more successful in reading, in writing, in math. When they are more successful in those early years, they will be more successful throughout school, more likely to graduate, and we are providing the uh, workforce, the well educated workforce for the new economy. What I can also say, Speaker, is that we have worked very closely with school boards across very Ontario. Closely. They have identified for us uh, those schools in their communities that have the capacity where we can begin to roll this program out and where the need is most important. We're looking forward to, uh, in the days ahead, the excitement that's going to come in our communities when four- and five-year-olds can. Supplementary. Thank you, uh, Speaker. Minister, it is clear that this is the right policy for strengthening our education system and enhancing our future workforce, but this policy also helps children from families who are in high-need communities right across this province. We as a government have committed ourselves to a poverty reduction strategy in Ontario, and the introduction of full-day learning for our youngest students will assist parents and children who struggle every day for a better life. In my riding of Ottawa Centre, there are neighbourhoods that could clearly uh, really benefit from this program and I'm hopeful that this kind of programming for kids and families will go a long way to undermining poverty in a meaningful way. Minister, can you tell us how this policy will help those in high-need communities across the province and what will this program will mean for those in need of my community of Ottawa Centre when it is implemented? Minister. Uh, Speaker, there's a great deal of excitement about this announcement, and there are many questions about it. So I do appreciate the member who is focused on the needs of his riding. Yes, and a good question. as um, he has indicated, poverty reduction is going to be impacted by this investment. We know that more than one half of the phase one schools. Uh, are in areas where local boards have identified uh, they are, there are high needs. So in the member's writing, actually, I'm able to say that uh, there are two schools that have been identified, Cambridge Street Public School and W.E. Gowling Public School. They are located in high needs areas. Uh, we thank the boards and we look forward to continuing to work with boards uh, as we roll this very important very initiative out. Parents want this, Speaker. This is good for our kids, and this is good for our economy going forward. This is an investment in our future. We are absolutely committed to it, and it will be successful because of the partnership. New question, the member from the P.N. Carlton.